Hey guys, how's it going? I need a man here. And today we're going to be taking a look at another HD link cable. This is uh, for the PS2 this time. It is exactly like the pound cable I did for the Xbox. It's made by the same company, Pound Technologies, uh, but it's for the PS2. Let's take a look. This is the box for the PS2 uh, link cable. It is basically identical to the Xbox One here, just as for the PS2. Um, it is six feet long. Um, no, sorry. It is a six feet micro USB power cable. So this thing actually is a little bit different than the original Xbox because this one actually needs power to uh, make it operate. So you're gonna have to plug it into uh, one of your USBs on your PS2. Which is kind of a downside. You think they could have maybe done without that? Um, let's take a look inside here. Comes with your uh, HD link cable uh, instruction guide. There is uh, apparently a problem with this where your screen can turn green, so it kind of gives you the different details and stuff on how to fix that in your settings. Which is kind of nice that they actually at least tell you that. They don't leave you hanging, which is always good. Now here's the bag with all the goodies in it. Uh, here's the adapter that goes to the PS2. There's a little light indicator and this one, I guess on this one, the micro USB actually gets used. The Xbox one actually had that as well, but I guess that one doesn't need to be used. Here is the some kind of Velcro strap. Okay, that's cool. I don't know what that's for. Uh, there's the micro USB, which you could technically use any micro USB if you really wanted to. So if this one's a little bit too long for you, six feet's too long, then uh, just grab a shorter one you have lying around and use that. And then finally, just the HDMI cable. So standard HDMI, use any one you have at home. If you don't want to use this one. And then it all just plugs together. Take this out of the bag. Take these little plastic caps off. Very straightforward. HDMI plugs into this adapter, which goes to the PS2. And then the USB, micro USB, goes into the side of this. And this is what powers it, and it goes to the PS2. Very simple. Uh, let's go plug it in and then I'll show you what it looks like in uh, HD compared to composite. Okay guys, so as you can tell, um, the screen is green, like it said it would be in the, in the manual. So what you gotta do is go to system configuration. You wanna go down to component video out. Click A on that, or X, sorry. I'm used to Xbox now. <laughs> and you go to RGB, and then it brings it back to the right colors. And I believe everything else you leave the same. I guess you do, you do get the option now of doing 4x3 full or 19x6. Now, I don't know if it actually says anything in the instructions about what to put it as. Doesn't look like it does. So, yeah, it's all about, I guess, about your preference. 4x3 and 16x9 seem to be almost the same. Looks like the clock and the date and stuff on top there is a Above the color part, 16 by 9 is all in that section. We're going to go full, see how that works. So I'm going to put in a game and then we'll see how this looks. So actually in this game you can actually switch it between 4x3 or 16 by 9 4x3 is a little stretched. 16 by 9 seems to be more normal of what games are nowadays. Let's try it that way. Let's 
continue. You can still definitely tell that it's a PS2 game compared to like, let's say, PS4 or even PS3, but um, it's definitely playable. I do have to say that. I don't remember the controls in this game, that's the problem. But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look bad. I guess it's a good option to give you a... Uh, a way to plug it into your HDTV if you want. Because we all know uh, most TVs nowadays don't even have composites, so that's always a problem. And then you gotta try to get splitters and all that kind of stuff, and it just makes it a pain and ugly cable management and whatever else. So. Yeah, this is uh, not a bad option for that. I'm gonna plug in the. Uh, the component cables? Not fun. I'm gonna plug in the composite cables and we'll see how that looks compared to this. Here's the composite cables. Right away it puts it into 4x3. That's what it was when I uh, got in here. If I switch it to 16x9 like we were playing before, then right away it kind of looks um, even more squished than normal. So it definitely does not work and look the same compared to in, in the same. Uh, resolution. But if you go back to the 4x3, then it's a little more normal again. But then you have the sides cut off, so it's all hit and miss. It is a little bit blurrier too, I can tell that right now. It's uh, not a huge difference, but it's definitely um, a little bit blurrier. So there you have it guys, that is the uh, PS2 uh, HD link cable from Pound Technologies. Uh, it's, I would say it's it's probably worth it again. Um, it lets you plug in your uh, old console, your PS2, to your HDTV. It gives you a more, a better picture for the way it's supposed to look now in the 16 by nine frame, instead of four by three. It is a little bit clearer. There's not a lot of difference because it's just kind of like, forcing it to upscale. It's not actually true uh, 1080p going, or 720, whatever this thing does. I think this thing does 720 actually, not not 1080. Yeah, upscales to 720, so. But yeah, it, it's still a lot better than using your AV cables on a modern TV. It just doesn't look that great. There's odd game that looks okay, but uh, this is definitely an upgrade. One downside is the fact that you gotta plug it in to get power, which kind of sucks. Just extra cables that are, weren't really needed. You could have left that out. They could have. I think. I think they could have somehow made it work without. They did the Xbox One without. So why couldn't they do the PS2 one? I. I don't know. But, anyways, I'll put a link down this in the description if you guys want to go check it out. And as always, guys, I will see you guys soon.